Hi, I'm Mark Savaglia and I'm the owner of Saan Saan. We are a local homegrown fragrance brand. Um, we started in 2018 um, with a few candles and now we have an assortment of products that um, promote stillness and mindfulness among our customers. So the main ethos around the brand, um, and that's why it's called San San. In Filipino, it means like anywhere and everywhere. It's to sort of remind us of things or places that we've been to or things that are in our memories that we don't know are there. But we get transported to these places when we smell them. Our noses or our sense of smell have such direct connections to our memories that when we smell something, even in the form of a, of a candle or, or just a whiff of air that passes by, we get transported to these places. And we like the idea of not moving, like you're just in your space, in your room. But when you burn a candle, you're taken somewhere instantly. Uh, hello, I'm Art Serrano. Uh, I'm an architect uh, based in Escolta. We're called One Zero, and we design Zanza. In most of our projects, we believe that there should be a particular focus in the materials and in where we source them and how we actually use them. We don't really subscribe to the idea you need to import good materials for you to have good design. Sometimes the simplest uh, materials often lead to uh, more interesting results. So uh, we like playing around with really humble materials like plywood, uh, uh, concrete, sometimes even bare hollow blocks. Uh, and we try to create forms based on the, the pure uh, materiality in, that we try to play with for a specific project. Most of the materials that we use for, for uh, Saan Saan space is really raw, uh, mostly materials that you can source from any hardware around uh, the city. And then all of the edges of the plywood are exposed. We feel that uh, there is beauty in a material's uh, innate qualities and we wanted to highlight that. In the same way that Saan Saan also highlights uh, different materiality and textures uh, with the scents that they produce. My favorite part would be the workshop at the back. The back room is where we make the candles, we, we blend the fragrances, we pour the candles, we cure them. So that, that's where I spend most of the time when I'm in the shop. But also, I guess, generally the, the feeling that people get and people who come to the shop always tell us that it is a very, there's a very inviting feeling when they come in and um, I get that, so that's why I enjoy staying here also. I stay most of the time here than in my own home. There is beauty in a way, in using very simple materials in a way that nothing really looks as uh, too complicated. The workmanship of the, the shelves are really just basically two pieces of plywood slotted together. And then each of the shelves at the back are basically movable, so you can remove the pegs and you can just uh, reconfigure them whichever way that you want. I use this phrase a lot um, in some of our campaigns as a brand. Soul in objects. I feel like obviously they're all inanimate and don't have any meaning, but we like in itself, they don't have meanings, but we attach meanings to them, um, either through memory or through someone who gifted it to us, or just because they helped us through a very difficult time. And, and around the pandemic, a lot of people took to candles and, and many self-care objects, and they helped them s survive I guess, or endure what was going on through a difficult time in our lives. And so even if they don't have soul, per se, I feel like when we see them, when we touch them, and they're very tactile, they make us feel better, at the very least. 
uh, sometimes the most interesting products really are born from uh, those that are constrained in terms of budget and in terms of timelines. Um, we like using simple materials because it's interesting to play around with really accessible uh, materials and just see how we can push uh, that material uh, further uh, than how we normally use it.